dear friends welcome to field crops basic series this video is about classification of crops and i am miss varsha gaitonde <coughs> based on the crop seasons field crops are classified as karif rabi and zaid crops karif crops means mainly grown in june to july means uh, this duration they are sown and uh, harvested at the end of september or october months the crops are jowar rice either upland or lowland rice millet pearl millet bajra finger millet or ragi maize soybean turmeric groundnut cotton sugarcane bitterguard linseed or flax green gram or moong sesame arhar black gram cowpea soybean groundnut cotton etc rabi crops these are generally sown during october november and uh, harvested during the month of march or february the crops are wheat oat barley seed plants alfalfa linseed cumin coriander mustard fennel fenugreek isabgol different vegetables pea chickpea onion tomato potato barley chickpea linseed and mustard seed crops these are mainly the summer crops grown during march to june examples are musk melon watermelon vegetables of cucurbitaceae family like bitterguard pumpkin ridge guard forage grasses sun hemp short duration maize for fodder purpose the second kind of classification is based on length of photo period required for floral initiation based on this we can classify as short day plant long day plants and day neutral plants for your better remembrance short day plants means we can say the karif plants and long day majority of our rabi crops short day plants are rice chrysanthemum cotton tobacco soybean long day plants wheat barley oats spinach radish lettuce sugar beet day neutral plants it is a third kind of classification day neutral plants means irrespective of any season they can be grown throughout the year like tomato sunflower pea common bean maize almost all c4 plants are day neutral plants classification based on climate it is uh, differentiated as uh, tropical subtropical and temperate here i have classified as tropical and temperate tropical crops which can grow well in warm and hot climate india has both tropical and uh, subtropical conditions and i have given only few examples like uh, rice sugar cane jowar whereas temperate crops means crops grown in cool climate like wheat oat gram potato etc agronomic classification based on the utility grain crops grain crops include cereals millets like uh, the crops grown from or obtained from grasses for their edible starchy grain the larger grain used as staple food is cereals like uh, rice jowar wheat maize barley pearl millet ragi and all small grain cereals are important one is bajra pulses or legumes this may either used as a uh, smothering crop or cover crop or else for uh, consumption purpose or for even nitrogen fixation on splitting pulses are produced dal which is rich in protein example green gram black gram soybean pea cowpea etc oil seed crops these are rich in fatty acids are used to extract vegetable oil to meet various requirements example are soybean groundnut mustard sunflower safflower sesame linseed etc forage crops refers to vegetative matter fresh as presented utilized as food for animals crops cultivated and used for fickler hay silage example sorghum elephant grass gunia pig grass then bursi and other pulses as well as bajra 
fiber crops this is ground for fiber yield obtained from seed example cotton steam jute mesta sun hemp flax etc root crops the economic part is root here example sweet potato sugar beet carrot arrow turnip etc tuber crops crop whose edible portion is not a root but a short thickened underground stem example potato elephant yam sugar crops two important crops are sugar cane and sugar beet cultivated exclusively for extracting the sugar starch crop exclusively grown for the production of starch like tapioca potato sweet potato maize drug crops used for preparing medicines like tobacco mint papyrus rum tulsi etc spices and condiments these come under plantation crops their products are used to, to flavor or taste and sometimes color and fresh preserving foods like ginger garlic chili cumin onion coriander garlic cardamom pepper turmeric etc vegetable crops may be leafy or as a fruity vegetable like palak mentha brinjal tomato china cabbage green manuring crop these are grown and incorporated into soil to increase the fertility of soil like sun hemp the hincha and all medicinal and aromatic plants like uh, cinchona isabgol opium poppy belladonna ravolfia serpentina then um, icornia and uh, aromatic plants like lemongrass citronella grass palmorsa japanese mint peppermint rose geranium jasmine henna etc another classification is based on life of the crop or duration of crop like seasonal crops crop completes its life cycle in one season may be classified as karif rabi summer like rice jowar wheat etc they take only one single to complete their life cycle two seasonal crops complete its life cycle in two seasons example cotton turmeric ginger sugarcane annual crops crops require one full year to complete its life cycle like sugarcane biennial crops which takes two year to complete for uh, fruiting and uh, to complete the seed to seed cycle like banana papaya and uh, some other plantation crops perennial crops they live for several years like fruit crops and other plantation crops coming to classification based on cultural methods or water supply that is classified as rain fed and irrigated rain fed means crop grown only based on the rainy water or depending on the rain water like jowar bajra moong which require moderate to low water supply whereas irrigated crops means crops grown either in rabi season or with the help of irrigation water like chili sugar cane banana papaya etc classification based on root system it is two kind tap root system and uh, fibrous root tap root means deep into the soil the tap goes very deep like uh, tur grape cotton and uh, fibrous root means many of the cereals and in tap root system the pulses also comes and in fibrous root all cereals wheat rice etc classification based on economic importance it is uh, defined as cash cash crop and food crops cash crops are go- grown only for making money like sugar cane cotton jute etc uh, tobacco also whereas food crops for consumption purpose and fodder as for cattle coming to the classification based on photosynthesis based on the light or dark reaction it is classified as three kind c3 c4 and cam plants c3 plants here photorespiration is high which have lower water use efficiency the initial product of c assimilation is 3c compound the enzyme involved is primary carboxylation is rubulose 1 bisphosphate carboxylase 
the examples of c3 cycle or c3 plants are rice soybean wheat barley cotton potato c4 plants in this primary product of carbon fixation is four carbon compound which may be malic acid or ascorbic acid enzyme responsible for carboxylation are phosphoenol pyruvic acid carboxylase which is high affinity which has high affinity for carbon dioxide and capable of assimilation of carbon dioxide even at lower concentration here photorespiration is negligible photosynthetic rates are higher in c4 than c3 with same amount of stomatal opening these are said to be drought resistant and they are uh, able to grow better even under moisture stress example are sorghum maize napier grass sesame etc the third kind is camp plants that is cassuradian acid metabolism plants here the stomata open at night and large amount of carbon dioxide is fixed as a malic acid which is stored in vacuoles during day stomata are closed there is no possibility of carbon dioxide entry or carbon dioxide which is stored as malic acid is broken down and released as carbon dioxide in these plants there is negligible transpiration c4 and camp plants have high water use efficiency and if we compare c4 and camp c camp have better water use efficiency these are highly drought resistant example pineapple sisal and agave thank you i hope you liked this video and do not forget to subscribe